Top Dog Videos Top 10 Small Guard Dogs for Apartments Most of the time, when we consider guard dogs, our thoughts go immediately to large animals like Rottweilers, Pit Bull types, Dobermans, German Shepherds and other breeds of size. Smaller dogs generally don't make the list, and in fact, there's a good reason for that. A small dog, no matter how aggressive, is far less of a threat to someone intent on invading your home or causing you harm. Personally, I wouldn't recommend any small breed for use as a guard dog. I just want to get that out of the way, right at the outset. The best guard dogs are, quite simply, dogs that are big enough to overpower a human if that should be necessary. That said, however, I know that not everyone's lifestyle permits the ownership of a large dog. Although many apartment complexes permit large breeds, many do not. Also, it's not uncommon in trailer courts for management to have restrictions as to the size of dog you can keep. So, with that in mind, let's talk about the best small guard dogs for apartments and other locations where you have to settle for a breed that is really less than ideal for the purpose. Usually, aggression in a small dog is not a desirable trait. However, when you're relying on a small dog for protection, it can be an asset if properly channeled. Accordingly, the following breeds are among the most aggressive small dogs. Here they are, in alphabetical order. Number 1, Beagle. The Beagle is mainly known as a hunting dog, and noted for single-mindedness. Beagles can be difficult to train, since their instinct is to take off if they're not on leash. This is also a breed that's possessed of an extremely high prey drive and can be a menace to smaller animals. If not properly socialized, beagles can become aggressive toward humans. If you're going to have a beagle in your household, you need to make sure that he understands that he's low man on the family hierarchy, in other words, make sure that even your kids are able to make the dog obey. Beagles can be very affectionate toward their humans, but they need owners who are comfortable being the boss. A well-trained beagle will do his best to protect his family. Also, his distinctive bark will often warn away intruders, since beagles often sound a lot bigger than they actually are. Number 2, Boston Terrier. Boston Terriers are by no means big dogs, but they can be very territorial, protective of both humans and property. They're solid, muscular dogs, and do well in little space making the Boston Terrier one of the best small guard dogs for apartments. The Boston Terrier was originally bred to kill vermin, and in many dogs of this breed, the prey drive is still present. For this reason, if you have other small animals, cats, for instance, you'll need to introduce your Boston Terrier to your other pets at an early age, and supervise carefully. The Boston Terrier is eager to please, and highly protective. These can be desirable traits, but sometimes, dogs of this breed have trouble distinguishing between intruders and people you actually want to have around, friends, relatives, delivery personnel, etc. Early socialization is essential. Number 3, Bull Terrier. The Bull Terrier is a very energetic dog, and although he does well in small spaces, if you own a Bull Terrier, you will have to make sure that he gets a considerable amount of exercise each day. The Bull Terrier is one of the best small guard dogs for apartments because of his background, these dogs were bred originally for pit sports. It really wasn't all that long ago that people would, for instance, fill a pit with rats, toss in a Bull Terrier, and then take bets on how many rats the dog could kill within a certain period of time. The prey instinct is still present in the breed, giving it many of the same advantages and disadvantages as the Boston Terrier. The Bull Terrier is not good with other small pets, and needs an assertive owner. Even if the Bull Terrier is perfectly compliant when it comes to family members, he could be suspicious of, and even hostile toward, strangers. 
Early socialization along with obedience training can help you to channel your bull terrier's aggression towards guarding. Number 4, Chihuahua. It's pretty hard to take a Chihuahua seriously as a guard dog, even though the breed can be very aggressive. If I weren't doing this list alphabetically, I would put the Chihuahua at the very bottom of my picks for best small guard dogs for apartments. If I were doing the list according to aggression level, though, the Chihuahua would take top honors. Just the same, if someone wants to hurt you or steal your belongings, no Chihuahua in the world is going to stop them. The best you can hope for is that maybe your potential assailant is extremely dog phobic and unwilling to risk contact with any dog, no matter how tiny. A Chihuahua will be very willing to protect you, though. And as is the case with some of the other small breeds we've talked about, Chihuahuas sometimes operate under the impression that their human has to be protected even from people who intend and no harm. Again, early socialization is very important. If you can choose another small breed, I'd strongly suggest that you do so. If you're bound and determined that Chihuahuas could be among the best small guard dogs for apartments and other locations where space is limited, consider getting more than one. You still won't have much in the way of protection, but a pack of chihuahuas could be aggravating enough to ward off bad actors. Number 5, Chow 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 Chows come in quite a range of sizes, they can weigh as much as 70 pounds, or as little as 40. So, this breed of dog, although even at 40 pounds would be considered more toward the medium size classification. I think we can safely say that it's near enough to the small end to qualify as one of the best small guard dogs for apartments. In fact, if I were to recommend a guard dog for apartment dwellers, the Chow Chow would be my top pick. The Chow Chow is solid and muscular, and in terms of genetics, the breed that's closest to the wolf. In terms of temperament, the breed has long had a reputation for aggression. It's been bred out a bit. But there's still enough left over from the Chow Chow's herding, hunting and guarding background to make for a highly protective dog. Chow Chows are extremely loyal, and often bond hard and fast to one person. It's important, if you think that this might be the right dog for you, that you're willing to commit to rigorous training and early socialization. If you have children, they also need to be taught how to handle the dog. The Chow Chow will react instantly and aggressively to any threat, real or imagined. As they age, Chow Chows sometimes become protective to a fault, so again, you need to be a strong owner. A well-trained Chow Chow can be a superb guard dog and a loving companion. Number 6, Cocker Spaniel It's hard to imagine the adorable Cocker Spaniel as a guard dog, but make no mistake. The cocker can be aggressive. Sometimes, in fact, cocker spaniels can be aggressive to the point of no return, and that's not a good thing. These companion dogs are very popular, and because of their popularity, have ended up being overbred in some instances. This has led to a condition known as rage syndrome, in which the dog becomes aggressive toward just about anyone, even family members, and then suddenly calms down. If you're considering a Cocker Spaniel, you should be very careful to buy only from a reputable breeder. Also, make sure that you can see the parents of the puppy you're considering, as well as the litter mates. Once you get your puppy home, begin the process of socialization. Even without a propensity to rage syndrome, if your puppy is not well socialized, he can become aggressive. A well-socialized Cocker Spaniel that comes from a good breeder can still be protective. Cockers are also good with other animals, if introduced early on, and gentle with children. Number 7, Dachshund The Dachshund comes by his aggressive nature honestly, having been bred to enter tunnels and thickets in search of vermin. They were even used to kill badgers, which is no small feat for a small dog. Today's Dachshund still has a significant prey drive, and dogs of this breed are known to be very protective of their humans. 
They're also generally one-person dogs, which makes them ideally suited to people who live alone and are looking for one of the best small guard dogs for apartments. You'll have to make sure that your dachshund gets regular exercise, though, since if he doesn't get much activity, he'll probably become cranky. If you're of a sociable nature, though, you might find that the one-person thing can be problematic. The dachshund can be suspicious of anyone who isn't a member of the inner circle, and takes a while to warm up to strangers. Dachshunds are also not usually good with children. However, this highly person-specific loyalty can also make them very suspicious of strangers and quick to nip or bite anyone it perceives as a threat. They are generally regarded as being a breed of dog that is not very good with children. Number 8 Jack Russell Terrier The Jack Russell Terrier originated as a working dog, and dogs of this breed still require a lot of exercise if they're not going to become irritable and destructive. Although the Jack Russell is one of the best small guard dogs for apartments and other small spaces, a Jack Russell is not meant to be kept indoors day in and day out. Jack Russells can be stubborn, and are not the best choice for novice owners. They can be difficult to train, and if not kept on lead in places where there are other dogs, often try to mix it up, even with dogs that are considerably bigger. Properly channeled, though, this aggression can make for a passable small guard dog. Just don't let your Jack Russell get the idea that he's the alpha, because once he does, it will be very difficult to convince him otherwise. You need to start training and socializing early on and teach your Jack Russell to respect whole family members. Number 9, Losa Apso The Losa Apso is small, cute and cuddly, but actually has a background in guarding, having been used to protect ancient Tibetan temples. To this day, the Losa Apso takes his role as guard dog very seriously. Losa Apsos are very intelligent and trainable provided you're willing to put up with a bit of stubbornness. You'll also find that lasses are naturally standoffish with strangers, and can be prone to nip. They're not good with small children, since they dislike being approached suddenly, and also are not fond of loud, boisterous behavior. This is a breed that, despite its size, can deliver a nasty bite. Lasses need to be treated with respect, and properly socialized. In the right hands, the Losa Apso can be a loyal, protective companion. They can yip aggressively at small children who aren't behaving interestingly enough and are very vocal when displeased. They can also suffer from separation anxiety so it's best to get a dog sitter if you plan to be away for more than a few hours. Number 10, Manchester Terrier The Manchester Terrier is lively intelligent and energetic, and also very playful. Like most terriers, though, the Manchester has a very strong prey drive, this is because of the breed's history of hunting vermin, and can be aggressive. Manchester terriers are not good around smaller animals, again, because of the prey drive, but they are typically fine with kids, especially older children who understand the need to treat the dog gently and respect his space. With proper training and early socialization, the Manchester Terrier can rightfully claim a place on this list of best small guard dogs for apartments.